I will have some high on Android.com where we get yeah. on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader on my brand new Moto X second generation. Uh, but this will actually work on any of the Motorola devices, um, including there's uh, Moto E, Moto G, um, also Droid Razor M, Droid HD, Droid, uh, Razor I, Atrix uh, HD. So it'll work on all the Motorola devices. So let me show you how to unlock your bootloader. That way I don't have to keep making um, new videos uh, whenever I get a new Motorola device. Um, also, there are variants. If you have like an AT&T or Verizon variant of the Moto X, uh, the first generation or the second generation, um, the bootloader is locked no matter what, so you cannot unlock it. There may be a way around it, uh, but you can't unlock it using the Motorola website. Uh, but uh, if you have any other additions of the Moto X, you can go ahead and unlock it. Um, sadly, I did buy my first generation, uh, where is it? Well, I can't find it. These glasses are driving me crazy here. Um, the first generation Moto X, uh, I've got the AT&T version. I found out that I can't unlock the bootloader, uh, which means I can't install custom ROMs. Really sucks, and uh, I hope AT&T and Verizon really listen to my message here. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you how to unlock the bootloader on any Motorola uh, devices that uh, you know you can unlock the bootloader if it's possible. Um, let's go ahead and do this, baby. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, before we begin, unlocking the bootloader on um, your phone. Uh, will erase everything, wipe off everything. So I highly recommend if you wanna unlock the bootloader and install custom ROMs, do it right when you get the phone. Not like I did, I waited like almost a week here. Um, also, do make a backup all your personal files and stuff. Uh, if you wanna make a backup, actually you can't really make a backup since you don't have a rooted phone, but you can go ahead and backup all of your uh, personal video files, uh, photos. So back it up to your computer before doing this. I'm gonna only um, warn you once and if you didn't listen to my warning it's your fault uh, don't blame anyone else you know if you find out later even though I said it just now there we go uh, go ahead and power off your phone um, this will work again on uh, any Motorola device that's supported by the Motorola site um, but I'm using the Moto X second generation but you can do this on any Motorola device so go ahead and turn off your Motorola device and go ahead and hold down the volume down button and then while holding that, hold down the power button. All right, it is pr practically the same on all Motorola devices. Go ahead and hold them down for, I think five to 10 seconds until you see the fast boot menus. All right, keep holding. Uh, if for some reason you don't, you don't see anything coming about after 10 seconds, let go of the power button. There we go, and let go of everything. Now if it boots into regular mode, you may have to try again, maybe hold it down a little bit longer. Uh, but uh, as you can see here, this is the fast boot. This is called the fast boot mode. All right, make sure you have enough battery. It says battery okay. Um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to, the, uh, to your computer. All right, like that, and then we'll go to the next step. And you can see it says uh, device locked here. And that's basically the bootloader. We're gonna unlock it. That will allow us to install custom recovery such as uh, Clockwork Mod, CWM, or Twerp Recovery. Let's go to our computer. All right, next, you'll need drivers installed. Uh, if you're using Windows, you do need drivers. If you're using Linux or Mac, um, also this tutorial is for Mac or Linux. I'll just show you uh, the commands. Uh, if you go to my site, I'll have all the commands. But it's uh, practically nearly the same. The commands are slightly different for Mac or Linux. Um, for Windows, uh, for Mac and Linux, go ahead and skip the step. If you have Windows, go ahead and double check. Go to Device Manager. If you don't know how, go Google it, please. Uh, you should have something um, like Android device. You should have something like a Motorola ADB interface somewhere. Uh, under preferably under uh, Android device. If you don't have this, go ahead and install the Motorola drivers and uh, try unplugging and plugging your phone back in and you should get there. And once you see that, you have the drivers installed. Um, next, what you wanna do is go ahead and download this file called fastboot.zip. It has all the files you need for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, once you download it, go ahead and unzip it. You'll get a folder, most likely in your downloads folder um, with all the files you need, uh, the fastboot files you need for uh, uh, Mac, Linux, and Windows. 
All right, next, go ahead and open up a terminal if you're using uh, Mac or Linux. If you don't know how, Google that, please, also. Uh, for Windows, you can go ahead and type CMD, and there's also a bunch of other ways to open this, um, but I like to just do it that way. <laughs> I'm uh, old school, and I've just been doing that way. Uh, here we go. So next, we're going to go ahead and go into the directory. Go ahead and type CD downloads. Go ahead and type CD fastboot, enter. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and type fastboot, space OEM, space get, space unlock, space data. All right, for those of you using Mac or Linux, I'll have all the uh, commands you're supposed to type. The first two are usually the same. For Mac, you'll probably have to do something like this, uh, and also Linux um, sudo dot slash, uh, like that for Linux or Ubuntu. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you for Windows here, and that will give us all these strings here. Um, this is the unlock data string we need, so go ahead and do right-click mark if you're using Windows. Um, Go ahead and copy the whole thing, right click, go ahead and open up a uh, notepad uh, or any kind of text editor if you're using uh, Mac or Linux. Go ahead and paste it and get rid of all the white spaces. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of the white spaces and put this string into one long big string. All right, there we go. And I'm going to also get rid of the front space so it's going to look like a very long string uh, without any uh, spaces just like that. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and go back into uh, Motorola, oh, next I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Motorola site. Um, this is the unlocking bootloader. I'll have the link to it on my site, uh, or you can just type unlock your bootloader, Motorola, and you probably get the site on Google. So go ahead and go through all this, say next, um, step two. Uh, you may have to sign in with your uh, an account or Google account, go ahead and sign in. All right, and this is what we just did. So you can go ahead and skip all of that. Go into uh, where you can enter the stuff and go ahead and paste your code and press on, can my device be unlocked? Now, if you try to use AT&T or Verizon models, you'll probably say, um, it will not work. All right, uh, it says, if your device is unlockable, um, request unlock key. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit, uh, I agree request unlock key and it says uh, this will void your warranty oh by the way this will void your warranty um so if you're if you really care about your warranty um, you know you may not want to do this also if you have insurance it probably won't matter um, so if you have insurance go ahead and do it because you know you can always just say you, you drop your phone in the water and just get a new phone uh, with the deductible or whatever uh, but if you if you're completely paranoid about this, um, then do think about it before you're doing it because you will void the warranty. So I'm going to say OK, and that's going to void my warranty, but I'm going to be able to unlock my bootloader. All right, give it a second here, and uh, it's going to send it to me actually to my email address. All right, and I will go check my email real quick here. All right, folks, so I did get to step three. If you did not get to step three, um, just try it again until it works. Um, and uh, I, I'm checking my email here, and my unique code is here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And then we go back into the uh, command prompt here, and we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot, space, OEM, space, unlock, space, and we're gonna go ahead and paste in the code. All right, and this should unlock our uh, bootloader. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if that will work. And it says unlock on my phone. All right, I think it is doing the unlock thing. And I think it should be done here in a couple seconds here. All right. Oh, go ahead and press the power button. All right, and it says bootloader unlocked. Congratulations. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unplug it. You don't need it plugged in. Let me go ahead and change the uh, camera angle. And my phone has started rebooting. Hi folks, so my phone has rebooted. Um, it's just wiped off everything. So you'll have to um, start over here. Uh, but now you can go ahead and install um, Clock Remote Recovery and uh, go on your way. Um, pretty easy stuff to do. Uh, if you wanna root it, go ahead and follow my instructions over at Moto xroot.com. Hopefully I'll have it up by the time of this video. Um, I'm going to probably do it 
uh, by tomorrow. Um, so watch out for that so you can finish the routing. But that's how you can unlock the bootloader on any Motorola device. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Yeah. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, it is easy to unlock the bootloader on your Motorola Moto X or any other Motorola device. Um, if you have AT&T again or Verizon, um, you are stuck with a lock bootloader until somebody releases an exploit. Uh, other than that, have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.